Hi there, fellow summoners. We've almost finished with this series, down to our last three guides. I've got something really nice that I will start after this series, so stay hyped for that. But today, we're discussing quite the hot topic, with AD carries quickly going back to its glory days and becoming one of the most important, if not the most important player on your team, you really need to learn how to peel properly. But before you can learn how to do it, you need to know what it is exactly, right? Well, basically, peeling is the act of preventing an enemy from its target or forcing the enemy to not be able to reach its target. Lots of people confuse peeling to be a support only job or that only 80 carries need to be peeled off of. Wrong. Everyone can be peeled off of and everyone should be able to peel, even if by stepping in front of abilities with a flash or a dash. It's not the 80 carries specifically that may need peeling. It's literally any squishy target on your team that is dealing damage for you guys. An Orianna mid needs peel. A cannon top needs peel. A Kha'Zix needs peel. Keep that in mind. A lot of people also confuse disengage with peeling. And I can understand where you're coming from, but in fact, there's one big difference. When you're disengaging, you are trying to prevent the whole enemy team from going in on yours and starting a fight. Some champions are really good at this, like Janna with her ultimate or Lee Sin with his kick. Peeling is the act of not letting one enemy get to his target, even though a fight might occur or is already underway. Alistar, for example, is pretty good at peeling, but not the best disengager specifically because his abilities work really well on a small area or one target. How do you peel? Well, it's quite simple actually. If you're playing support, this is when it becomes easiest because in contrary to your teammates, you can fully concentrate on preventing damage from being dealt rather than dealing it yourself. Even so, there's essentially four ways of successfully peeling for one or more of your teammates. Number one is by dealing enough damage to the attacker before he reaches his target so that he's forced to back off or die in the process. Successful peeling either way. Can't reach your target if you're dead, bruv. Second way is to decrease the enemy's stats in some way before he engages on the squishy. Stuff like exhaust or abilities that slow or reduce attack speed like Nunu's ice ball thingies or frozen heart. Third way is to do the opposite and boost your ally who's being targeted. Give him shields, speed boosts, health, armor or magic resist, or you can even remove CC from him with Mikhil's Crucible. Finally, the fourth way you can prevent an enemy from advancing further to the backline than he should is to just hard CC him until he dies or gives up. Again, I'm bringing up Alistar because he has just way too many ways of stunning and stopping opponents. But champions like Lulu with her polymorph, Thresh with his flay and ultimate, Jarvan with his knockup and ultimate, or even Camille, you see a lot of champions in various different roles have the abilities necessary within their kits to stop enemies from advancing too much. And yet, they forget about it and go full damage when they have an unprotected Caitlyn in the back, who keeps dying because the top and jungle are too focused on dealing damage rather than protect her. Now there's a big difference between pro players and amateurs, knowing who or what is more important for the win. Let me finish this video off by naming my favorite champions for peeling. I'm a main support, so there's gonna be a lot of those in here. The best champions for peeling, in my opinion, are Soraka, Janna, Lulu, Karma, Bard, Zillion, Braum, Thresh, Sona, Nami, Alistar, Tarek, Maokai, yes, the new one, Ash and MF. I didn't include Lee Sin here simply because the day is yet to come when I find a Lee Sin that doesn't try to insect or use his abilities offensively rather than defensively. Okay guys, thank you all very much for watching. It is an honor to know that we've reached 2000 subscribers. I have a very special video coming out tomorrow, but for now I'm streaming, like right now. So check out the link in the description if you're watching this video right after it was uploaded and come say hi. See you in the next one. Sakeos streaming. So go there.